What is going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more scrap mechanics. So last episode, we got this whole, uh, well, we got this whole thing kind of built up here. And it seems to be doing a decent job. It keeps them off the walls for the most part. Now, I actually had some people say they're like, oh, you should uh, use, a, use a, um, a controller and then just have the bearing rotate 360 degrees and these will all be rotating forever. Uh, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe we will. But I want to focus on getting ourselves the shot spud, the spud fry gun, the sh shot spud, multi spud shotgun, that thing, you know, the gun that shoots multiple things, the French fried things. Anyways, so I'm going to run over here. I want to see what it requires. And I also want to check what the Gatling, uh, the, the spudling gun requires as well, just to make sure that I know we're going to have what we need. And uh, we're going to do some farming. We're going to do some growing. We're going to get some raids um, where I have a feeling we're probably going to. OK, this thing is just too fast right now. <laughs> I'm not carrying a load with it right now. I have a feeling we're going to get some pretty epic raids over the nights because I do believe that these items are. Uh, well, <laughs> I think they're higher tiered veggies and it's going to well, it's going to trigger some interesting things. So let's go see what we need first. And as always, if you guys enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here or have returned or you know just make sure make sure you're subscribed it does help with the channel and i do appreciate all your guys' support i actually had somebody in chat with me on discord they're like yeah i've watched your videos forever and i thought i was subscribed and i totally wasn't so uh yeah do appreciate it thank you guys so much for the support scrap mechanic has been going absolutely fantastic but do not worry we're gonna have some other games come back in here don't do not worry it's gonna happen all right so what do we need for the spud shoddy the shot spud what is it actually called the spud shotgun. Okay, well, that was a little easier than I thought. Four broccoli, holy moly. And this guy has five pineapples? Jeez Louise. What do we need for that? Ooh, potato ammo container connected to a mountable spud gun with a trigger to shoot potato ammo. Mm -mm -mm. That sounds like a good time, but I don't need it right now because I don't have the mountable spud gun. You know, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge believer in it right now, but I'm sure we will be checking it out at some point. But four things of broccoli. Do you know what kind of raid that's gonna bring on? And the pineapple, oh my gosh. So, uh, okay, broccoli, pineapple, four and five, holy moly. So we are gonna start working on that. Now I did see that we are probably going to need, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just wait a second. We're gonna need a total of two more of the cage farmer dudes, but we're gonna work on the Gatling in a different video. So um, I'll probably get these off camera just because they're kind of annoying. <laughs> they're kind of a pain to get sometimes. Sometimes they work super easy, but let's go ahead and let's head back. Now on the way back, there are actually a couple things I wanna do. I wanna throw a, another vacuum pump on the water collector and another one on the chemical collector. And that is because I'm making concrete. I'm making a lot of concrete and I need a lot of water, a lot of chemicals. And you know how sometimes it just it doesn't it doesn't work unless you're over there and the the area is like loaded or whatever. So uh, we are gonna throw another pump on each one. I know people have been telling me to do that for ages, but well, now we're actually gonna do it. It's gonna be great. So uh, we're gonna stop at water first. Throw that one on there. Hit the chemical one up. Throw that one on there, and hopefully call it good. All right. So we gotta take this chest off. We're gonna set it right there for now. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get a vacuum pipe. We're gonna go ahead and just throw a vacuum tube. Uh, like that, throw this guy right on the end, like, like a so, and we're gonna get another vacuum tube, I'm gonna go get another vacuum tube, oh, poop, ah, oh, pooey, all right, we're gonna throw that guy right there, uh, just like that, and that's gonna be that way, we're gonna connect to the same switch, like a so, and look at that, my gosh, so much more water, it's wonderful, it's absolutely wonderful, so I'm actually gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take all this water, I'm gonna wait till midnight tonight to do the first plant of the broccoli. Now, broccoli takes two days, so I'm gonna get two raids regardless, unfortunately. So uh, luckily I have been farming potatoes and we are gonna be maximizing our yielding. So we're gonna be planting uh, brock. Oh, geez, Louise, there's two of them. What are you guys doing? Don't give me a hard tech. Uh, we're gonna be having a hundred, about 120 something crops being planted every night now because we expanded our our farm and we expanded the watering capability where's the other leg go or it's not a leg it's a body i know everybody in the comments is like it's a body it's a body it's a body it looks like a leg okay <laughs> i'm sorry uh but we expanded our our watering and farming capability so we're gonna be doing 100 crops 120 crops a night so that's also why i'm trying to make a whole bunch of concrete because i want to reinforce my base more 
We need more things, more guards, more places, more stuff. It's always good to have more. All right, so we got these guys. Uh, I want to top these guys off first. I actually want to, um, I want to get more of these containers and I actually want to have one for each one just in case we don't want to do a full plant and then I can just take the water out of one or disconnect one and they won't all go off. But for now, I don't think I have enough stuff for it. All right, let's see, do I have enough? Uh, no, I'm gonna be out of like glue and such. So that's okay. All right, let me throw the rest of the water in here because that's gonna be one of the main things we need for the concrete. Now, I need, I have a vacuum pump already. I need more glass. So I was actually perusing because I, I remember I made the comment before. I was like, oh, these metal blocks are like, you know, super strong and stuff like that. Like good to really, but you know, in actuality, this block right here only is a difference of one durability. And what's nice about this is that all I have to do is combine concrete that I'm already making and two of these to make 10 of these. So it only takes two of these blocks to make 10 of these. So I think we are going to be upgrading. Uh, and the same thing goes with this. Basically, all I need is more. Well, I need a lot of concrete, actually, <laughs> but we're making concrete. We're working on it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's fairly it's actually not that bad because it's just like metal reinforced So it doesn't re actually require that much uh, that much stuff So if we did one of these like one stack, that's 10 that would give us uh, what 50 of these blocks And that'd be super amazing and then I mean the same with this too But then it requires you know 15 of these and two of that to make 10 of those so I mean yeah You start returning you know, you know. anyways, okay, so I just want to get I just want to clarify that a little bit too all right, so let's go do the same thing with the chemicals that we have over here. Man, if we just had a place that had chemicals right next to water. <gasps> Ooh, we'd have a concrete making factory in no time at all. Um, Okay, you guys just, you know what? You're not even worth it. You're not even worth it. I don't want your heads laying around everywhere. All right, so chemical time. Oh, I already had one pipe on here. I hmm, guess I only needed one. Uh, Okay, I got to do this without touching, <laughs> without touching the water. You know what I mean? <laughs> or chemical, whatever it's called. Would you just connect? Thank you. Oh, oh, we had it. Perfect, looks good. All right, let's go ahead and get that guy connected. And voila, holy moly, this thing's already like full. All right, so let's go ahead and take all this. Now, lucky for us, that chemical only, actually, let's swap the two for the 20. La, da, 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 da. Looks good, okay, cool. So chemical actually only gets used half as much as water, which is super nice because then I don't have to worry about coming all the way over here because this is a little bit further away than the water is, but still uh, really nice nonetheless. And back at last, let's go ahead and get these thrown in here. We're gonna queue up a boat load of concrete. Actually, we're gonna queue it up in this one. Oh, what are you still working on? You're still working on wood? Uh, it's going from scrap wood to wood block one. Uh, all right, you know what, that's fine. And then let's go ahead and we'll get, um, what is, it? is that the concrete block? All right, cool. So we'll get those crafted up. Basically I have like infinite stone, so that's fantastic. I am actually really curious about these blocks though. Like these look super cool. Uh, I really wanna check them out. Well, since we're kind of just hanging out, um, I do have a bunch of these net blocks and I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it like a nice little catwalk because I want to be able to see underneath my base so that way we can we can walk around, we can see what's going on and then shoot if required. So I am going to use these. I don't know how many I actually have. I know I picked up a bunch when me and uh, me and Missy were out exploring. All right, so we got a little bit of a catwalk here. Nothing too crazy. It looks pretty good. Let's go and grab it or grab our elevator here. That looks pretty good. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and just expand these out this way. We'll do a little bit right here. Why not? You know, my whole base is a little bit hodgepodge, but that's okay. I kind of like it. I think it gives us a little bit of character. If we wanted to, we could go through and redo the whole thing. You know, like redo all of it. So it's all one material, all that fun stuff. But I don't know. Scrap mechanic doesn't sound like a game that everything's built like, you know, out of one perfect resource. I mean, there are things that, yeah, it would look nice, but for now, I like I like the different resources. It makes it feel scrappy, <laughs> if you will. So now I can look out and be like, oh, what's going on here? Who's attacking what? Where are you guys at? What you doing? And then, uh, yeah, well, at least we can see. And actually, you know what? I wanna do a little bit of testing here. Can I fall through a too wide gap? I cannot. I can't fall through a too wide gap. Oh, that is fantastic. That means we could shoot from up here. Ooh, hello there. That means we could shoot all the things from right here. Ooh, ooh I like it. Oh, this corner, can I fall through this corner? Oh, almost, you know what? Let's just do that. 
Then we don't have to worry about it. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I love it, guys. All right, it looks like it's about to be that time. Let's see. We needed, oh goodness, we needed broccoli and pineapple. I don't, I think we're gonna just focus. How much broccoli seeds do I have? How many do I actually have? I have 11 broccoli seeds. Um, do we do pineapple at the same time? Because if I do that, that's gonna be one heck of a raid right there. <laughs> that would be interesting. How much, ooh. I do have fertilizer and I have enough for those two. You know what? We'll do that. We'll fertilize those two and then the rest we're going to grow. Uh, let's grow spuds. Let's grow spuds. I like I like growing spuds. It's nice. Okay, so we have a total of what? 20, uh, 40, 60, 80, 100. And we have about 100 and no, what do we have? I think we I think I said we have like 124 124 crop plots. So uh, you know what? We'll make some, we'll make some food too. Let's do, let's do some beets. We'll mix it up. We'll do a whole bunch of, we'll do a whole mixed bag of goodies. Okay. It is about time for the planting. The great planting shall begin. You know, I need to make a way to get into my farming area. <laughs> Would be super nice. And it's time. Let the planting begin. Can you, I actually ran out of seeds. <laughs> I ran out of seeds. Oh no, I can't access my toilet from here. Uh, no, no, I have to use the elevator now. Okay, all right. We might move the toilet. I, you know, I really like the toilet. It's just, it's a faster way up and down, but the elevator does look fancier. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead. Let's do a full water. Look at the size of our crops. My gosh, go. Oh, yes. Water them all. Water, my pretties. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna have to deal with the wrath of the bots. Um, We are gonna get some tape bots for sure. There is a chance that we might get um, we we might get something uh, a little spicier than tape bot. I don't know. I'm hoping not because I don't think my base is ready for that. But if we do, we do. You know. All right. So those are the ones that usually take more than a day. So hopefully with this, with them being fertilized, they'll be done. Uh, that's actually the crop that I need right there, and I actually got to do it a couple more times. Oh, <gasps> these ones didn't get watered. What happened? Oh my God, why are there so many bots? Holy moly. What is that? <laughs> why are there so many? Oh my gosh. What in the heck happened? Why were they all coming after me? There was so many bots there. Jeez. All right, let's get these guys watered. I don't know what happened here. I don't know why those ones got missed. I wonder if the sensor, what is the sensor distance? One, I was thinking maybe the sensor picked up and it just shot back before those two could get watered. That doesn't make any sense though. Hmm, weird. Also, where did that one go? I don't know. Hmm, maybe I'll just remove those two because I don't wanna have to deal with that every single time, but this time we'll leave it. Uh, I'm just gonna pull those two up, replace it there and probably down there and we'll just leave those two because I, I, I don't wanna deal with it. <laughs> I don't wanna deal with that being an issue. All right, so we are amidst the wave of the night. Nothing exciting going on really though. There was, it wasn't a, like a huge wave or anything. It wasn't, it wasn't anything amazing, unfortunately. So um, I do need to get up here though. Oh shoot. All right, I gotta get, I gotta get all the rest of the stuff out. Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be morning time. It's gonna re-register. No, we don't need re-registering. Okay, I think I just gotta get it out by 4.30. <gasps> Come on, inventory. Inventory space is super empty. Uh, let's just, Go through, get rid of everything that we can real quick. Let's drop down. Let's grab the rest of this stuff. Quick, 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 quick. Oh no, these aren't done yet. It's not worth it. Okay. All right, we're good. We're not gonna have another raid. Woo. I don't like to have two raids back to back. All right, we look good. Uh, Yeah, we didn't, nothing super exciting about that that raid though. I was, I was a little surprised. We had a lot of crops in there. We had the high level crops. We had uh, broccoli and pineapples in there. I need to go through and figure out what we got because I do have to actually plant to get more because like I said, we need like five stacks. Uh, we need five stacks of pineapples and four stacks of broccoli. All right, that looks pretty good. Also, I did start working on expanding the base a little bit uh, through the day because we had like plenty of time. So as you can see, we kind of like started working into this place and I'm just gonna keep bringing it out this way. I'll probably like stop right here and then bring this part out and then over and we're gonna have like this be another base place right here. And then we're going to build stairs to go up to the roof because I want to put like a watchtower on top of that. I think that'd be kind of cool. All right. So there's a broccoli. There's some seeds. There's some seeds. There's some pineapple, more pineapple seeds, more pineapple seeds. 
So we have in total, hold on, let's go ahead and let's reorganize some things here real quick. So I got 10 broccoli and 10 pineapple out of the deal. Now I need, oh, I need so much more broccoli though. So I'm gonna have to plant uh, because we need what, four for broccoli and we need five for pineapples. I'm not super worried about pineapples right now, but we are gonna have to replant broccoli one more night. One, I already have a stack. Two, three, four. We might be oh no are we no well, no no no. we're gonna be good we will be good because if we have 20 here that's 20 and then we have four that's another okay we'll have exactly we'll have exactly four stacks of broccoli after um after the next day and then um after that then we gotta start working on pineapples but pineapples really aren't that bad either all right we got about two minutes until the next wave incoming uh, these guys should all sprout. I don't think the broccoli and the pineapple are going to be done before tomorrow's raid, like, notification deal. So, yeah, we're going to have another raid <laughs> shortly after. But we should be able to harvest these, hopefully all of them, and get our shoddy, our spud shoddy, within the next day. We should, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, we're going to kind of hang out, wait for that. Now, I actually was kind of playing with an idea. Oh, oh, they're starting. I was playing with an idea and this would be like, this would probably take a while, but instead of doing this thing where it goes back and forth, like we did with that, you know, just getting a bunch of saw blades and just lining up this whole area, doing that and see if we could open up, say this side, just open it up and make a hallway with blades all over, like all on both sides. So that way we can maybe funnel the robots into one hallway and then the mountable spud gun would become essentially a turret for us. Can I get these yet? I cannot. All right, so you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start grabbing what I can uh, because we're about to get a raid here in just a minute. And this way we can at least get something done. All righty, those are all done now. That's wonderful. All right, so that's good. Still waiting on broccoli and that. Um, now you guys might be thinking, my God, why do you have so much spud ammo? You can never have enough ammo. <laughs> you can never have enough ammo. Do you guys remember that quote from uh, Tremors? It was pretty cool. Anyways, okay. So we're good there. We're about to get a raid here shortly. You know what? Uh, let's go ahead. Let's fire up the machine. Let's get this guy going. All of them should be working fantastically. Awesome, awesome. Now let's go ahead. Let's go up to our base up here and uh, we'll use our catwalks. I extended the catwalks around. So we should be able to use these and just shoot and do the things, do the stuff. Uh, I extended it around almost all the way. So you can see we have over here we have it over here the only spot that we don't have it is like right here but i should be able to shoot from right here to get that spot so i think we're good i think we're good all right let's let's begin all right nothing to oh there's a tape bot holy mo oh there's another tape bot oh my gosh there's another tape bot oh my gosh tape bots inbound for sure okay any more tape bots i don't see any all right, uh, let's go ahead and let's get... Oh, look at all of these guys. Oh, they just don't know what to do. They won't attack. They're too scared. They're too scared. They're like, ah, oh, we're scared of the blades. It almost sounds like I'm being shot at. That guy's too scared of the blades. That guy's too scared. Any more? Do we got any more body boys? I don't think so. We had three tape bots. It sounds like somebody's still doing something. I don't see anything. All right, let's get down here. Let's look just to make sure looking good looking good all right let's go ahead and turn this guy off let's grab that these are unfortunately not done yet so uh yeah that's the thing that is just a minor deal <sighs> do i do another thing of potatoes i mean you can never have too much ammo you know you really can't we had three tape bots though Ooh, tomorrow is going to be rough it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough one <laughs> you know i'm thinking maybe i should have uh maybe i should have mesh around the outside too that way no because i shot him oh man i shot him from a distance so i kind of had to have it open hmm maybe we need to make like a a peephole you know like what do they call that it's like a sniper's thing or something like that i don't know something like that where it's just like one block that's open and everything else is like or like one block basically a wall like this that we could just like peek through that would be, you know, more of a better height. Anyways, okay. So I'm going to wait for hopefully these things to get done. And then hopefully we can go get a shoddy. I want to try a shoddy. I want to see what happens with it. I think it's going to be fun. 
You know what? If we're going to get raided again anyways, let's just go ahead and plant some more potatoes. We're going to need more ammo anyways. You always can use ammo. All right, we're fully planted. I don't think we're going to have enough water. Let's check that one. Okay, we'll throw another one in there. Uh, we'll throw another one in there. 20, 20. Let's take some of those out. Let's swap these two around. Let's do that. I think that'll work. All right, let's go ahead. Let's send it water up everything again. Why not? I'm really hoping we have enough water. Oh, shoot. We were a few short. Darn it. All right, let's go grab some water again. All right, everything's watered now. Now, actually, I did a test there, too. Uh, okay, so ooh, I have to have four stacks in that one and three stacks in that one to water everything. Okay. Um, I do, like I said, I want to make six of the, oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five. I want to make five of these guys so that way we can have one for each one so we don't have to worry about that as much. But hey, they're planted. They're good to go. Still waiting on these guys. Once those are done, then we'll be able to go get our wonderful fry shooter shotgun spud shoddy. I'm super excited. So here we are five minutes till raid time. These things are still not grown. I don't want a third day of raids. Just grow already. The potatoes will be fine. But the broccoli and those pineapples, oh my gosh, they're taking so long. They're just taking absolutely forever. <gasps> oh, oh, yes. Yes, some of them grew. We got, we got some of them. Okay, they're all coming in now. They're all coming in. Come on, babies. Come on, you guys can do it. Yes. All right, we got one pineapple guy left. What? Just one pineapple guy. Come on, pineapple. You can do it. No, darn it. Guys, I think this pineapple's broken. If this is the last thing that's in this field, you're getting destroyed. I don't even care. I will destroy you. You understand me, pineapple? All right, anyways, we have four stacks of uh, broccoli. Guess what? We can do it now. We can go get the shoddy, but first we got to defend our stuff and uh, get everything else out before the beginning of the next day. And there's, oh, it, it grew. It's about time. All right, now I need all of these to grow. <laughs> right now, right now. You guys need to come out. Hurry up. All right, T minus 30 seconds till raid time. I guess these guys aren't coming out before the raid. That's fine. We will just go ahead and we'll turn everything on. You guys all good? Everything's operational, looking wonderful. Let's go ahead, let's head up here and let's prepare for the oncoming onslaught, shall we? I really, really hope there's no red dudes. Really hope there's no red guys. All right, five seconds till raid time. Last time we had three tape bots. I can only see it getting worse from here. Uh, okay. Hey, bot. Not bad. Uh, okay, a couple of these guys. No tapies? No, no tapey guys? I want to take out tape bots first. If I had them. No, no tape bots. Oh, they're too worried about the stupid cow. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the deal is here, but there's there's not that many things going on. It is super laggy though. All right, let's just get down in here. Oh Jesus! Maybe I shouldn't have. Ah, we'll be fine. <gasps> what? Oh, oh no! Oh no, there was a tape bot. Oh, there's tape bots. No, shoot. We gotta go. I need ammo. No, 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 I need ammo. I gotta get up to my place quick. Come on, magical toilet. Magical toilet, accept me. Okay, all right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Where are you tape bots? Where are you? You guys are too quick. Okay, there's one down. Where are you magical tape bot? Oh, 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 ha, 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 ha. I think we're good now. I think we're good. This guy's indestructible. What? What the heck? I can't even hit him. I can't destroy this bot. I can't hit him. Oh, shoot. Guys, I can't do anything about that bot. Literally nothing I can do about it. You know what? That's fine. Let's just do this. Let's just go get our crops out before we trigger another raid. Uh, and that's fine. All right, all the crops are out. Uh, this guy's broken. I cannot do anything against him. He is non-battle able. He's gonna have to despawn. There's, I don't have any options. Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything against that guy. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna bail on him. We're just gonna leave him. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay. So, uh, some more pineapples. Okay, so we're good there. Looking good. I mean, we got a whole bunch of electronics and stuff like that. All right, let's go turn our stuff in. Let's get ourselves a shoddy. Ooh, ooh I'm super excited about that. Did he despawn yet? I don't think so. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to turn this motor off like that. And I'm just going to let this thing run while we're gone because it should. Wait, is he gone now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he gone. OK, cool. Um, We're going to go get our shotgun now. Yes. Yes. Shoddy time. 
Uh, I just need my vehicle. And then we're gonna place you on the ground. And then I just gotta grab that chest and we should be good to go. All right, broccoli delivery. That's the wrong button. Hello there, four crates of broccoli. You, sir, are going to turn me into a shotgun master. All right, gimme, 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 gimme my shotty. I worked so hard for this trade. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got a shoddy. Okay. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. How much? Okay, hold on. How much ammo does this thing use? I'm guessing we're using the six. Four. Okay, two per deal. I figure because it's a double barrel, you know, it's a double barrel shoddy. Let's go try it on some, uh, let's go try it on some robots. Ooh, super excited. Now, I have a feeling that each, uh, each type of weaponry is designed for specific bots. So I would say the standard spud gun is your all around multi-tool of choice. However, for up close and, you know, up close encounters with like, say, uh, hay bots or scout bots, you know, or not scout bots, tote bots. I'm trying to use the correct term here. Maybe the shoddy will shine. But I know for a fact, the tape bot, I do not want to get up close and personal with that. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. I need some, I need some spud lovers. Come here, spud lovers. We call them spud lovers because they don't actually like spuds, but they will. <gasps> What's up, dude? What up? Uh, that took three shots. Hmm. That took three shots, which would have been six taters. I mean, you know, maybe if there's a few of them together. Come here, up close and personal. Ah, up close. Ooh. Yeah, far away, nothing. Up close, yeah, baby. Ooh, that's where it shines. That is where it shines. Okay, hold on, what about a tote bot? Uh, I need to come back, grab these, this scrap. Um, on, let's grab these things real quick. Hello there, little tote bot. How are you doing? Mind if I get up close and just uh, show you this thing I got? No? All right. <laughs> okay, I like that. That's really good. You have to be super close though. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, that feels so... Okay, cool. we go. This is addicting. This is addicting. What's up, dude? Goodbye. What's up, guy? Bye. <laughs> now, can I... Does it work this well? Like, if I get super close to a hay bot, does it work that way too? We're just going to run up to this guy and say hello. What's up, dude? You want a hug? Okay. Whoop. Yeah, it's two shots. He didn't get me though. Interesting. I right, hear another guy laughing. Where are you? Cackling right there. There you are. Come here, bud. Yeah, it's two shots for those guys. Okay, which makes sense because, you know, uh, that's four, still four potatoes though, but it allows you to rapid fire a lot more than, uh, than the spud gun does. So I like it. I like it. Hmm. That is, that is rapid. That is some rapid fireness, and I like it. Rapid deconstruction of robots. That's what it does. Ooh! So the only other thing for us to get is the Gatling, or the Spudling gun, if you will. So that is what we're gonna start working towards. Uh, pineapples, I already have like two stacks. We need five total, but I do need one of those guys in the cage. So we're gonna, gonna have to go out and get that. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Also, if you guys want to check out some live streaming action, twitch.tv slash Z1 Gaming. That's where I do all the live stuff. You can check it out. It's a good time. Also, I do upload previous live streams to my second channel, so you can check that out. Uh, links down below. It's Z1 Gaming Late Nights, what it's called. So, uh, But thank you guys so much for coming out. Oh, also, Sunday, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's when I stream over on Twitch. I think this Sunday we are actually going to go do a, another warehouse. Oh, yes. We're going to do the whole warehouse, hopefully in one stream, get it knocked out, get all the goodies, get all the fun stuff. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you there. And until then, you guys have a wonderful week.